What are you doing? I have no quarrel with you. You, uncultured swine. You should not have blessed your backwater colony. Boy. <laughs> Shay? Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. Thank you, Shay. Please, wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. How did you do that? It was quite... fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this... Uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. That's the best we can do for now. We keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Shay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new don of Precursor Archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. 
I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sights. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you have seen. Well, I know both the assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but a tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them and Haiti falls or... Lisbon or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity in the Lugeberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shea. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Gist, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir. He's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He is also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the Order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Duly noted. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damn continent. I fear we'll take more than that, though. To stand by to come in over stone. The penny they bad. Lashy blows! Wild white as snow! There she is, the HMS Pembroke, Captain James Cook's ship. She's a beauty. Man of war, fully armed. We should bring the Morrigan alongside. Master Kenway will... Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormac? Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack... Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real uh, firepower. I believe I shall, Captain.
Wolf, Lawrence, and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself. Back from Hanover. You take an interest in the war, Shay? Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. Let any through. We've it is imperative we stop those ships, Captain. Murder! The outcome of the war may depend and on it. It's not just the one ship, Captain. It produces your own water. Nice to see you. Fire! 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 Dear God, fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. We'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. It's the Experto Crede. At the Wally. How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Agreed. We have to get rid of those fire ships. We're right in their path. We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way. Master Kenway is correct, Captain. Mortars would prove We're most right advantageous right now. We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way! Oh. Fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. And we'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir! It's the Experto Credit! And what? How fortunate he is that we have other We priorities. have to sink that fire Agreed. ship or get out of their way! We have to get rid of those fire ships. Fire. We're right in their path! We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way! More fire ships! In 
incoming ship! We're right in their path! We have to sink that fire ship or get out of I their way! I believe Mr. Kenway is correct, Captain. Lord, most advantageous right now. Fire. We're right in their path! We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their Another way! Another wave of fire ships, Captain! Captain! We're uh, right in their path! We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way! More enemy ships, sir! And more fire ships! This is hopeless. Perhaps it would be wiser to fall back. War and wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! Yeah! You heard the orders! She sunk! We're right in their path! We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way! There's the Royal Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning. That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. But Awale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to their core. He's a good man, Gist. So was the old... Studs up! Get up, Jack Johnson. Come along, come along, you jolly brave 
Cargo for the taking, sir. Look what the wind just blew in. Hail and good morrow, gentlemen. Once again, Captain Cook's resourcefulness has served us well. I have located the man you were seeking. Adewale. Exactly. He was last seen in the French fort not two leagues from here along the river. What would that scallywag be doing in a French fort? Refitting his vessel, I suppose, after Louisbourg. Thank you, Master Cook. We'll take it from here. Farewell and Godspeed. Gentlemen. The fort's just up ahead. Good. Let us continue onward. Those rivers barely have enough draft for an ocean-going vessel. 
should be nearly impossible to maneuver. Maneuverability is hardly the point. Well, I don't intend to find out the point. Let's stay out of her way. We can find our way around her. Just keep to the smaller rivers where she can't follow. And do try to remain unseen. We don't want to attract unwanted attention. Why would the French put such a ship in there? This war is drawing to its close. They're becoming desperate. They'll expend any efforts to gain firepower. No offense to Captain Cook, but that lady has more firepower than any I've had the pleasure of meeting. It's not really my type. Ah, but the French ones can have a certain charm. Did I ever tell you the story of Madame Vrenette? <laughs> that wasn't her real name, but... but... Point is, I think I know a safe place where we can debark. Sail on! So what's the plan? We bombard the fort? Cool, storm that fort. Aye, we need to know what we're up against. I could take care of that. Indeed. Let's find a safe place to dock. Loose sails! Let's catch the wind! Trim the yards off the wind! Wait, go to the fort. Find out what Adewale's doing there. We'll keep the Morrigan close, Kist. I make my own luck. Master Kenway.
Blast sent their dog after me. Time to test your metal, G. Oh, what? Je dois, je peux tirer! Captain has learned to get in the way. If only he'd stand still and fight me. Abubali is facing you on his own terms, picking the battlefield. And on his own ship, he is most at ease. Find those barges! That's where we'll be swimming home tonight! This river's getting uncomfortably narrow. Don't you worry, sir. She has gotten us out of tighter scrapes before. And the lake ahead is a dead end. And a Wally won't be able to get out. Straight to the deep. We're working on it! I don't think we can stand against them, sir. Why? Fortunate it is. Adewale's beached his ship. A novel tactic. He's saving his crew. No. He's making a last stand. Let's not disappoint him. I will take the high ground and provide a distraction. Find another way. I will take the high ground and provide a distraction. Find another way. Follow him, Shay. I will try to corner him. Here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Then the thing is losing us. We'll surprise them soon enough. Keep running. Stop you. Forgive me, Atawale. You dare beg forgiveness, child? Hell welcomes traitors like you. Then I go there proudly, knowing I have done right. It does not matter. Achilles already has what he needs. I will kill every last man who defends him if I must. I cannot let him succeed. You have become a monster, she. Uh, 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 oh. Perhaps I have. Come. At this point, the war's not really over, but the French have lost their momentum in the colonies. The Templars can now focus entirely on the Assassins. They still have hundreds of men working for them in New York. Let us see what role Shay plays. What is our progress on the Precursor matter? We are gathering ships and supplies, but it is difficult without a specific destination. My men can help. I have enough to spare for a crew as well, Chevalier. Hope has found a way to reproduce Master Franklin's experiment. We'll soon uncover the next Precursor site. And you are confident you can do this? I am a keen observer, Mentor. The device will be ready shortly. Very good. Keep me apprised. We've yet to find where Hope is hiding, and most criminals in New York report to her now. I better find the Grand Master. Things are worse than we feared. The assassins found a way to make the precursor box work. They're already preparing an expedition. Then we must stop them. Hope controls hundreds of men. The authorities are doing sod all. What if we were to impersonate her men? We could commit a crime so big. They couldn't ignore those damned brigands anymore. That sounds like an excellent plan, Jack. Make it so. I will find out where the assassins are hiding. Is it just me, or did the boss tell us to make trouble? Enjoy it while you can, Shay. Get him, Shay. We'll need their clothes. You're right. Let's move. Come on! I'm coming! 
too young to die. Hurry, you fool! Or we're both dead men! Don't we make a disgraceful pair of crooks? No. I make this look good. So what's the target? The military pay. We'll have to hurry. Our regiment is already on its way to the fort where the coins are kept. Great. And I suppose you have a plan. The fort holds many prisoners. Get in and hoist the gang's colors. When you do, I'll free them. You're going to free a bunch of criminals working with the assassins. Well, we have to turn the army against them, don't we? Remember. You raise the flag, and I'll raise hell! Here, you mad maggot! He's in my sight! Bastard! 
some of sights. We're not losing that bastard. You hoping about What on earth happened here? The prisoners got loose. They had help from outside. There were just too many of them. Well then, we're going to have to fix that, aren't we? It's about time we took those criminals down. It worked, Jack. With a little luck, the army will crush those damned brigands. I make my own luck.